Hey guys, this is Bharat and welcome to Bharat's Kitchen with Chicken Seek Kebab. Now, this is no ordinary Seek Kebab recipe and even though I've used some fat, still this recipe has considerably less fat than that 20 to 25% fat which is generally used in Seek Kebabs. Well, I have a secret ingredient here which is healthy and makes the kebab more moist and juicier. Okay, so let's begin with it. So first, we're gonna need some boneless chicken and I'm using chicken thighs here as thighs have some amount of fat added. But if you want a more healthier option, then you can definitely use chicken breast as well. Now you just need to roughly mince these thighs and you can use a food processor or a mixy here, but don't make it very fine right now. All right, for the spice mix, I'm gonna use a simple combination here. That is some salt, some coriander powder or dhania powder, some turmeric or haldi powder. You're also gonna need some roasted cumin powder, black pepper powder, then comes some Kashmiri red chilli powder, also some spicy red chilli powder, some garam masala and finally some baking soda, which is very important. Now I want to make my kebab spicy, so I'm gonna add a few chopped green chilies here as well. And don't worry, you'll find all the list of ingredients and their measurements on my website. Okay, the secret ingredient in my kebabs are these soya granules. Trust me, it is a very common replacement used nowadays in the industry and it does wonders. So just let the soya rest in some water for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, make sure you squeeze all the water out of the soya. And before using it, you need to grind the soya very well into something which looks like this. This is very fine. Alright, time to mix everything. So in the chicken mince, add the chopped green chilies, the masala mix, also some kasuri methi, our soya mince, then comes some brown onions and you can add finely chopped onions here as well but brown onions give amazing taste last but not the least i'm gonna add some ginger and garlic paste and that's it at this point you need to make sure that everything is thoroughly incorporated and the kebab mixture is very very fine so grind everything in a food processor So by grinding the mixture very fine, we are eliminating any sort of thread-like structure and the chewiness as well in the kebabs. Now you can see that I've minced the chicken very fine. So at this point, add some kevra water for the aroma and yes, it does enhance the flavor as well. Now generally, water is the enemy of good kebabs. But to make these kebabs juicy, I'm gonna add some water. Now if the water is the enemy, then why adding water you ask? Well, in this case, my secret ingredient needs water. That is, soya will absorb most of the moisture. Thus, keeping the kebabs juicy and making them more healthy at the same time. Finally, to give that tandoori effect, you can also smoke the chicken mince mixture. Just use a burning charcoal and pour some ghee over it and cover it with a lid. And make sure whatever you do, whether you smoke it or do not smoke it, rest the chicken in the refrigerator for about one hour before cooking. Okay, so time to cook. But first, you need to fix the kebab on the sheet. So you're gonna need a bowl full of water and make sure you wet your hands before working with the keema. This will help you to easily hold the kebab and give it shape. So use your index finger and the thumb and gently press it on the sheik and make sure you press the bottom and the top of the kebab so that it doesn't fall down. Now sometimes in restaurant people make it smooth or sometimes they don't make it smooth. I like the smooth one. So I'm going to wet my hands again and gently with the help of my thumb and the index finger again smooth it out. That's it. So you can cook these kebab on a grill pan on a medium to low flame. So make sure you oil the pan first and cook for 30 seconds for about a minute on one side then turn it and again cook for about 30 seconds to a minute on the other sides and if you don't have a grill pan 
then you can definitely use a tawa here as well so in the same way you can apply some oil and again cook it for about 30 seconds to a minute on one side if you don't want to use these method then you can definitely fry the kebabs or even bake them at about 200 degrees celsius for about 5 minutes and if you don't even have a sheik then you can make them into a tikki kebab or make them into kind of a shami or chapli kebabs and cook them on a tawa or a grill pan it's totally up to you but if you ask me from my heart what would i like to cook it on then i would definitely like to cook them on proper tandoor with a bit of charcoal like this and you can see that these kebabs are pretty soft and juicy at the same time and they are actually not heavy on my belly low cholesterol and everything everybody said that but it does not make any sort of healthy stuff so here it is kind of healthy chicken seek kebabs i hope you like it for the ramzan and, and even on a evening party so there you are guys how to make easy chicken seek kebabs and as always you'll find all the list of ingredients and their measurements on my website and if you want to make this channel more sustainable then do support me on patreon.com and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and till then i'll see you all next time <laughs>